These AirPods cost me $4, but are they any good? Today we're balling on a budget by trying knockoff products. I had a cheap date with this very cheap caviar, which was produced from a black lumpfish. And I broke in these fake Yeezys around the office. We're gonna be testing these and many more dupes on today's special edition of Rejects. May I present to you black lumpfish caviar. This is about $4 an ounce. Normal caviar is about $100 an ounce. <laughs> So it's 25 times cheaper. Yeah. I think they need to visually see, I guess, what expensive caviar looks like. Oh, look at that fancy container yeah, it comes they have, in. Yeah, like really fancy containers for like the better ones. From Arky's. Imagine having caviar as just a casual snack. Okay, do you want a snack? I'm having it on a cucumber. Did you have yours on a cucumber? No, but you'll see how I prepared mine in a moment. I tried it out, brought it home to my girlfriend. We had a date night. Now I'm gonna treat you two the way I prepared it. Whoa! Uh, got some whipped cream with a wow. thinly sliced radish and a sprig of dill. Oh dude, I'm sorry, I just yeah, smelled smell. that. Yeah, it's a fishy smell. Looks like kind of chunky motor oil. Which one has the least amount of Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm oh. at the top. That is so salty, oh my God. It's so yeah. salty. Caviar is known for its saltiness. This is not worth $10 in my opinion. This is trash. Are you guys ready to enter the world of high fashion? These are Yeezy foam runners. They typically cost, I don't know, a few hundred dollars or so, depending on which ones you get. But I have great news for you guys. You can get a pair for $25. Oh, Look at those. These are from wow. wish.com. Go ahead and feel them. These are like Crocs material. I actually wore them around the office for a day, testing them out. What did people think? Um, they're striking. Certainly a whole new bin. Such a statement. It doesn't go with that outfit. Now Sandin's our resident sneakerhead. Sandin, would you wear these? Dude, I'd wear those. Ben was dripping. You know, you gotta kinda. <laughs> what is that? Like how you dodge things during the day normally. <laughs> you gotta like see how they react. They're super lightweight and I think they look cool. Is that what we're going with? <laughs> it's very loose to the toe. They do look ridiculous when I'm seeing someone else wear them. They... What exactly is their product name? These are called Slides. Whoa, dude, are those real unisex <laughs> foam slides? You talking about my uni foamy sleeties? <laughs> oh yeah, those are my uni foamy sleeties. For 20 bucks, what more could you ask? We're budget balling. They're also called trendy clogs. Trendy <laughs> clogs? Are you guys ready for a tech unboxing? Beats Wireless Studio 3. So oh yeah. For steel. First thing you see is change the way Ooh. you hear sound. Pop that it's a nice off. Box. Want to look at yeah. the lid. Gold plated band. Gold plated. Yeah. So you saw those. Those are a few hundred dollars or so, like the high end beats. But don't worry, guys. Ooh. Our own unboxing. Dang, those look legit. Oh, wait, that's not a knockoff. That's a counterfeit. It says Beat Studio it sure 3 does, on it. Jamie. It's wait, how much was this? These are $25. <laughs> okay. Oh, this oh. box is so cheap. You hear that plastic? <laughs> oh, yeah. They still have the Beats logo. Oh, it still says oh, studio oh, instead of gold. Silver no. instead of gold. It's silver oh. instead of gold. More like aluminum foil. Hey, when I connect, it even says Beats Studio. <laughs> I know. It's just so counterfeit. It felt like I had two blocks of wood just pressed into my head. <laughs> my intent was to wear them all day, but my ears were aching by the afternoon. <laughs> oh, here's the real thing. The difference is pretty stunning, folks. Let's hear well, the difference. The it's almost all base. Massaging Here, you should you should try these. Like since you tried ear. since you tried those. Oh yeah, those are comfy. Oh no. It lost the connection, didn't it? It lost the connection. It sure did, dude. It's gonna do that a lot. This is not worth it for me. Yeah, okay. Oh! I'm treating you guys to a dining experience. Is this a fine steakhouse somewhere? It looks super empty. Another guy came out with gloves just to open it. Dry ice is super cold. Isn't it like negative 100 and something degrees in there? This is Wagyu beef. It's considered the Ooh. finest cut of beef in the world. It's super expensive. I'm about to treat you to some. Just like in the video. <laughs> 
<laughs> Somebody vaping off set? <laughs> These are Wagyu beef sticks. Slim Jim Wagyu beef. Regular Wagyu beef could sell for 200 a pound. This was a dollar each. <laughs> oh, I feel like it's cheaper than a Slim Jim. <laughs> Dude, that's better than a Slim Jim. I don't know if it's Wagyu or not. It's I don't know if I be. care. It tastes pretty good. It's a solid meat stick. For a buck, this, this is way better than a Slim Jim. So another bargain find, I would say. Get this epic Wagyu beef. I've got some exciting cologne to bring to Rejects today. This is Dior Sauvage Elixir. This right here, this scent, is absolutely stunning. So this is Dior Sauvage, and I got us some samples of it. Oh, mm, that's lovely. Good. Kind of a little floral. Wait, this is $175 for a bottle? This is high-end stuff. I'm treating you to some of the best. Yeah, I'm gonna do that too, heck yeah. I'm gonna save my skin for the knockoff. <laughs> S-A-U-V-A-G-E, Sauvage. All right, for you gentlemen, Sovachi. <laughs> S-A-U-V-A. Sovachi! <laughs> I, I think it's like, Sauvage, and then it's, Sovachi! This is $9. Oh! See, now we're talking. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have you guys check it out. Mm -hmm. I got a little bit of feedback from my wife, mm -hmm. okay? So I put this on the other day. She said, you smell like a middle school boyfriend. After experiencing the real stuff, I can definitely tell more alcohol than <laughs> oh, cologne. Than scent. For $9, maybe it's just one or two more squirts hey, and you're good to go. Neither one of these is worth the money. I'm out on both. You're in on Savace? Yeah, I'm, I'm in on Savace. Savace! All right, guys, we've been looking at a lot of cheap knockoffs. Let's look at a few officially licensed products. I grabbed some of my favorites from VAT19. First up, the Hot Wheels DIY Monster Truck Kit. With this kit, you can make your own Hot Wheels Monster Truck. Next up, we got this Space Invaders Micro Arcade, and it's the actual real Space Invaders, so it's not like a Space Intruders or whatever. <laughs> and then those are Skittles cotton candy. I swear they taste just like Skittles. Oh yeah, smells like it. Oh yeah, it does. It's like got that like candy coating. If you want some like real, officially licensed, non-knockoff products, maybe head over to VAT19. My next product is a Louis Vuitton wallet that sells for about $800. And it's like this big. Now I want you to pay real close attention to what it looks like and the pattern. My go-to wallet of choice has been this little Louis Vuitton keychain pouch. I just got this white checkered one and it's so pretty. We picked up this little gem from Timu for $3. It's the same! Oh, look at that. It's just kind of like the squares got mixed up into triangles. I gave this to Allison, my wife, and said, will you use it for a day? She hated it. Okay. <laughs> Instantly, she's like, that's not Louis Vuitton. It's fake. She was like, that's not even the right pattern. Yeah. Like it's checkerboard. How do you mess that up, Timu <laughs> though? But then she was basically saying every time she had stuff in it and would like lift it up, the zipper would like fall open on its own. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you don't want that in the wallet. So all those cards oh, falling out. Here's the thing, for three bucks, I don't think it's bad. If they had just committed to really copying the pattern, <laughs> like just a little bit more carefully, so good. It's time to up our men's fashion oh, game. Yeah. This is two of the sickest Daytona in the market. 116508, also known as a John Mayer. <laughs> Mayer. Don't call, call it the John Mayer. <laughs> Why is it called the John Mayer? 85,000? Going for 300. What's that one called? Dang. Dang. I cannot believe watches that much. Tip. You can look just as good for a mere 20 bucks. Oh. oh. You might be thinking that's a Rolex if your vision isn't great. Olevs! Olevs! We're talking though, green dial, Ooh. boy. From a distance, not bad. Exactly, from a distance or if you have poor vision. It's stainless steel, they say. That'll last. Yeah. So I was wearing it yesterday. It's too big and we actually didn't have the tool to remove the links, but it was fine to wear. Like it didn't turn my wrist green or anything like that. For 20 bucks? I didn't hate it. If somebody noticed this, I'd be a little embarrassed by it. <laughs> Is that a fake Rolex? This looks just as good as the $15,000 one, if that's what you're going for. I'm out on it. Let's see if this stainless steel quartz movement watch can handle a little oh, bit man, of tail. Oh, oh, what? One swing of the hammer? Whoops. Dang, that was cheap. <laughs> 
y'all know I love my gaming. Well, I have brought you a Nintendo Switch. Oh, it's not showing a game, it's just showing like photographs. Yeah, but it's a cool car, man. <laughs> All right. There she is. Oh, dude, it's got that MP5 technology. I don't know where we want to start. How much is a Nintendo Switch? Nintendo Switch is like 300 bucks, I believe. How much is this enhanced edition SRS WoW HD Real H264 HD Ready USB device? Nailed the title. $27 for this bad boy. Okay. Here's what it does when you boot it up for some Whoa. reason. Oh, those look like good games. Yeah, don't expect to see any of those being played <laughs> on here, though. First you have to go to your, your files, <laughs> files to find your games. And then it takes you into all these like letters and stuff, which I have deciphered. It's like Game Boy, Nintendo system. So you have to go onto a website and download illegal no, these copies came of games. Preloaded. These preloaded. illegal games came preloaded. Oh, nice. So it's preloaded with how many games? Probably like 50 to 60. Dang, that's like 50 cents a game, family. I know. Mm. But you know, like, Pretty good, like. Oh yeah. Okay, a little side scroller. I think for twenty-seven dollars, and you don't mind a little sort of uh, intellectual property theft. It's a good, it's a good <laughs> buy. Name your favorite movie franchise. Go, uh, John Wick. I'll just say Star Wars, but only the original uh, three. Oh, You're then... both wrong. It's the Fast and the Furious. Normally we'd be like reviewing, you know, the Fast and the Furious, those movies. I'm doing the Fast and the Fierce. <laughs> the Fast and the Fierce. <laughs> yeah. All right. A terrorist threat. Oh gosh. We're expecting a bumpy approach into LAX. If you land the plane, you die. Get me on that plane. <laughs> so it's speed, but in the sky? Whoa! The fast and the fierce. Hold on a minute, I have yeah. questions. It's just speed, but with the plane? Okay, so I will tell you, when I went to go watch this movie, the original name popped up when I went to go check it out, and it was called Air Speed. <laughs> so I think somewhere along the way, they changed the name. I think this is like movie clickbait. <laughs> but let me tell you two, Air Speed slash the Fast and the Fierce <laughs> is a thrill ride from V. Beginning to oh, end, there was no cars. <laughs> <laughs> What's your um, rating out of five stars? I'd give it 12 Vin Diesels. <laughs> Out of 10. I am out on You're not gonna watch it? <laughs> I'm not gonna watch it, I am so out. I'm gonna watch it so we can have all yeah! sorts of cool, cool inside jokes. I'm gonna make my kids watch it. Gentlemen, welcome to the future. VR gaming is here. So this is my rip off of the Oculus or the PlayStation VR. So this one is 40 bucks. I'm in. Oh. So one thing it said right out of the box is that you can download a massive game. The GTA one wasn't GTA, it was the manual for GTA. <laughs> so you could flip through and read about Grand Theft Auto, but then it turns out this thing doesn't work and I couldn't even scroll oh. on anything. Oh. Hey, there you go, man. The Fast and the Fierce Whoa. in VR. Oh, oh, it's making me disoriented. Oh yeah, it makes you dizzy, by the way. Can I try it? Yeah. But it's not in 3D at all. Nothing seems to happen when I when I move my head around no. there. It just stays. No, you need a VR still. app for that. Yeah. Oh, not so good. Send it back. This Send is, it back. This is total trash. Gentlemen, one of the fastest growing consumer products of the last 10 years what? was Apple's AirPods. Really? Yeah, and what I've got right here are not AirPods. No, 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 no. These are nameless $4 Timu knockoffs. And I spent an entire day with these bad boys. And I'm gonna tell you something, my $4 was so well spent. Really? Oh, these are incredible. The audio in my ear, I was like, this is pretty good. I gotta say, I was supremely impressed Can by these. Can I try these. and see mine? Because I'll be honest, I'm very skeptical. Of like the audio okay, quality. Well, very connected. skeptical of the audio quality. Okay. Here, let me listen to one. All right. We'll do like a date. Okay. That's a pretty clear sound. I do not think they're as good as AirPod quality though, do you? Yeah. No! Are they four dollars? Of course they're not as good. What a find, Jamie. You may have won this. These AirPod knockoffs, really good. Hey folks, we love getting your fan art. Me, Eric, and Ben look at all of them. 
If you want to send something in to be seen on the show, email it to rejects at vat19.com. And surprise, I was a fake Eric this entire episode. Timu Eric. Bye! See ya! Vat19.com